Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So like I posted earlier on social media, the lovely tea holiday gift boxes are officially here. So if you guys are interested in getting a box, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. They're only gonna be available on the website. Um, there's three different boxes to choose from, like I told you guys before. One is the wellness box, the other is the beauty box, and then the last one is the holiday flavored box. So if you guys are interested in getting any of these three boxes for yourself or as a gift, Make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. The first 50 orders are guaranteed to get to you before Christmas. We only have a total of 100 boxes because we didn't want to get too many and then not know if they were going to sell out or not. So if you guys are interested in getting a box, once again, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Cardi B situation. So if you guys don't know, it seems like in her situation, when it rains, it pours, okay? So yesterday, she was going live with all her fans. And so she started reminiscing and thinking about Offset, not saying that she wanted to get back with them, but she was saying that she definitely missed the D and she missed when Offset would put it in her mouth. But put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. I said your motherfucking mouth. And just all types of crazy stuff, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and watch a snippet from her live stream. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <sighs> oh my god, I almost died. My gag reflexes are leaving because I haven't sucked dick in such a long time. I missed the D. I'm about to relapse and call this nigga. Big, fat, black. And heavy. Oh shit, I need more coffee. Clutch my invisible damn pearls, okay? Cardi B's ass be wildin' out. She has no filter whatsoever. So when a lot of people saw the video, they're like, you know what? She's gonna get back with Offset. She clearly misses him. You know, was this all for publicity? Is this a real thing? So it's left a lot of people confused, but I think that honestly, she's just missing the damn peen, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, what happened is that later on that day, a post went viral all over social media. It came from a private Facebook group and it was basically Offset's stepfather speaking about the whole situation with his stepson and Cardi B. I initially thought it was his father, but it's come out that it's his stepfather. He's spilling all the tea, he's putting all their business out there. But this was supposed to be in a private group because a father is an Alpha Phi Alpha. Basically somebody in that group is not to be trusted because they turned around and leaked everything that he posted to the media. So now it's causing a bunch of controversy online. People have been going in on him, dragging him. It's insane. I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the letter that I said stepfather posted in this Facebook group. Go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So Offset's father, he goes by Tony Play, and basically this was in a private group. He says, I'm just getting off a flight from LA to Atlanta. I wanna thank the brothers that cared enough to identify my family situation being played out over the news and made a point to curtail it. I also wanna thank the ladies for your support as well. And the one that told me not to go into the group when I got off the plane. Unfortunately, I had already read the post in every sub. Right now, my family is going through a very tumultuous time. What you see in the media is only the tip of the iceberg. Social media is a powerful tool, but certainly no place for family situations. 
However, our youth, specifically my son's wife, doesn't understand that. She seems to want to take everything to social media without regard to the devastation it has on others, past, present, and future, or specifically what it does to the other children. I say this is not to say that my son is innocent, as he has done his share of dirt. But the whole scenario is a never-ending drama session. It's a tit-for-tat, mudslinging situation fueled by jealousy, envy, insecurities, psychological issues, drugs, etc., etc. While one may believe that the celebrity life is good, open to scrutiny, and is fair game for jokes, insults, etc., it is different when the stuff is in your face every day. It's depressing and tiring. People do and say hurtful things about my family members daily, specifically my child, while he ain't perfect, he's mine, and as a parent, I have the duty to protect him. Right now, I cannot do that. Like most young adults, he doesn't always do what he's advised to do, but we are talking about a 25-year-old with a limited supply of money and people at his disposal, etc. Couple that with a hot-headed female that thrives off his social media attention and is on the same financial level as or slash above him, it's a recipe for a disaster. They both have professional people in their corner that they do not use. Psychological issues, depression, and drugs make the situation worse. You all do not know how this affects the rest of the family. From late night phone calls, emergency travels, news media, etc. I did not sign up for this. Everything I do and say is scrutinized. Everyone wants favor to get closer to him or Cardi. I have lost friends, family members, etc. Because I have had to say no for his protection. His legal troubles overflow into my house. You all don't know that my door was kicked in this summer by the feds and every inch of my home was ransacked for a case they are trying to build against him. I can't discuss it here. My daughter came home with her one-year-old baby to a blocked off street and guns in her face. I was out of town and couldn't protect her. Every day I still smile and come in here laughing with you all. The laughs help mask the tears. Last week when Cardi posted the divorce video, I could not get any work done at work. I own my own business. As the phone calls, the texts, the DMs, etc. were non-stop. She released the baby picture out of spite. It was supposed to come out on his album. She basically screwed my whole family over and vowed to release the picture to social media. My whole family is in an uproar right now and I can't fix it. I am usually the fixer and brothers that I know can attest to that. I don't know what to do or where to turn. I tell you all this because I want you all to get a glimpse of my daily life. I would not wish this on anyone. I would give anything to simply go back to being a school teacher and a coach. Thanks for listening. Honey. He said a mouthful, okay? So like I said, on social media, this was causing a big debate. A lot of people are going off on him, dragging him, saying that he's being messy. How dare he throw Cardi B under the bus? How dare he speak on Cardi B? And you know, for me, being one, a parent, okay? I'm able to see all sides of this situation, okay? One, to me, when I read that, I see a father who's not only hurt, but I see a man who's also tired of the drama and the nonsense. And a lot of folks might say, okay, well, fine, why take it to social media? Now, like I said before, he did not post this on his public Facebook. This was in a private group, and unfortunately, you just can't trust folks nowadays. So whoever it was who leaked it, shame on them. But he thought he was talking amongst his brothers, and somebody leaked that conversation. You know, I understand where he's coming from him being upset how everything is playing out on social media as we all know cardi b puts all her business on social media and i have called her out on this time and time again it's not a good look you cannot allow everything to bother you and then take it to social media when you're in the heat of the moment because sometimes you say things that you may regret and sometimes you might say too much okay so i understand where he's coming from and especially as a parent when you're having to deal with phone calls text messages and people coming at you 24 7 based off of somebody else's situation situation it becomes draining and tiring and any parent would feel some type of way if their child was constantly being attacked he clearly stated in that message his son is not innocent he's done his dirt at the end of the day he's a parent and he's going to defend his child my thing is offset cheated on cardi b and cardi b still came to his defense and said regardless of the situation regardless of what he did that's still family that's still my baby's father you know what i'm saying that's still my husband we're not divorced yet y'all need to chill y'all are sending this man death threats y'all are calling him everything but a child of god it's taking a toll on cardi 
who was the one victimizing this. So how do you think his father's gonna feel? I don't understand how people cannot put themselves in the father's shoes. He's having to see all this stuff written about his son. And I don't care how tough you are, things like that eventually get to you, okay? So I understand where he's coming from. I understand the hurt. I understand the animosity because he feels like a lot of this stuff wasn't happening before these two people got together, okay? So I definitely understand where he's coming from with that. Again, everybody was just crying tattooed tears when Pete Davidson, you know, said he didn't want to live in this world and he was going through stuff. Now we have a black man literally saying he's tired. You know, he's venting to his brothers only for somebody to put his message out there, and, you know, make it public. And this man to me is somewhat crying for help. OK, now I will say this. I don't agree with a lot of the other stuff that he posted when he was talking about their drug use, you know, depression, jealousy. You know, that was a bit extra. And that's something that should have been kept within the family. As far as the situation with culture, he also put that out there. He said that Cardi B posted the baby's picture out of spite and basically took money out their family's mouths. You know what I'm saying? So he's very upset about that. At the end of the day, culture is also Cardi B's daughter. So she felt the need to post the picture at that time. She had every right to do so. And that's not nothing that she had to explain to the rest of the family. But if this was something they had agreed on prior that she would allow Offset to, you know, release that picture per his album cover, then that's an issue between Cardi B and Offset. That's something that they're going to have to address. Okay. And I also feel like this because he mentioned money several times in that post. I also feel like the father is somewhat bothered that, you know, Cardi B is making just as much if not more money than Offset because let's not forget when they got together Offset was basically the breadwinner he was more or less the bigger celebrity but then the roles quickly flipped where Cardi B became the bigger celebrity and Cardi B is making millions and millions of dollars now so she's just as rich if not richer than Offset and because of that Cardi B has options. She's not one of these Instagram thoughts who's looking for a come up, okay? Cardi B has got her come up. She's making her money with or without offset. So she has the strength to leave because she's been able to build her own lifestyle and become accustomed to her own money. A lot of these other goofy ass women who choose to stay with these cheating ass rappers, they have become accustomed to a particular lifestyle based off of the rapper. So if they leave the rapper, that lifestyle is finito. But with Cardi B's situation, it's totally different. If she leaves offset, Offset, Cardi B is still good. Her money's still coming in. She's one of the most hottest and most popular females in the game right now. So there's nothing that's going to happen to Cardi B as far as her bag. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what somewhat bothers the father and Offset is that Cardi B has the option to leave and not look back. And whoever ends up getting with Cardi B, that's definitely going to be a come up for them as well. Because let's keep it real, before Offset got with Cardi B, nobody was checking for Offset in that way. I mean, he was popular, but when you thought of Migos, you thought of Quavo. Everybody was talking about Quavo. Everybody was doing features with Quavo. Quavo, Quavo, Quavo is all you ever heard when it came to the Migos. But when Offset got with Cardi B and his name started being mentioned more, he became more mainstream. Now you have the white media constantly talking about Offset and Cardi B. Whereas, you know, a year, two years ago, the white media was not checking for Offset like that. So he understands that he's definitely messed up a good thing. I just wish that the father would also hold Offset even more accountable. Granted, he held them both accountable, but I kind of felt like he kind of glossed over the things that Offset has done. Like I understand, like I said before in my video, when you are a rapper, an entertainer, or athlete, and you have a bunch of disposable income, a lot of thirsty ass women who are willing to just sleep with you just because of who you are, that makes it hard for any man. That's why most men in the industry are just not faithful, okay? So my thing is, I think the father should have spoke to his son and told him like you know what honestly I don't think you're ready to get married he was cheating before they got married he was cheating during the marriage so I don't think that Asa was ready to get married at all you know and I'm so tired of all of these guys coming out you know at Cardi and saying she needs to take this man back when at the end of the day I believe that the conversation should be Offset, you need to stop cheating. If you really love her, you need to do right by her and keep your damn peeing in your pants, okay? Just the other day, I posted a video, 21 Savage. He was at his concert, and he was basically telling the entire crowd to chant, Cardi B, take Offset back. Y'all go ahead and check this out. We're going to scream, Cardi, take Offset back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, so you guys just saw that video, 21 Savage and Offset. You know, like I said, I've never seen so many hip hop men invested in a couple ever in my life. I've never seen people cry so many tattooed tears behind Offset and Cardi B's marriage. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is this. 
21 Savage is the same person who called out Amber Rose. Allegedly, Amber Rose was talking to another guy. or So I'm not sure what happened in their relationship, but I remember Amber Rose begging 21 Savage to come back to her. She was talking about how she still sniffs his dirty draws when he's not there. She was really fiending and wanting 21 Savage to not leave her. You know, she was on social media all extra depressed and just, you know, bragging about sniffing his damn draws. And what did 21 Savage say? 21 Savage says, you crossed me once, you'll never never crossed me again. He didn't take Amber Rose back. Nobody told him to get back with Amber Rose. There was no campaign to keep these two together. So I, what I find very hypocritical is that when Amber Rose was begging you to take her back and was apologetic about whatever mistake she made, you know what I'm saying, in y'all's relationship, you cut her out cold turkey, but now you're demanding that Cardi B take Offset back. I see some hypocrisy in that, okay? At the end of the day, like I've always stated, this relationship is between Cardi B and Offset. Whatever she chooses to do in her marriage is gonna be her business. If she ends up wanting to stay with him, that's her business. If she chooses to leave, that's also her business. At the end of the day, it doesn't affect me, I'm still gonna sleep at night, and it shouldn't affect so many people either. You know, so this entire situation is crazy, but like I stated, I understood where the father was coming from in some parts of his, you know, rant, but then in other parts, I did feel like he put too much of their business out there especially when he was talking about the feds kicking in his door and the feds trying to build a case against his son that did not need to be stated on social media so he was spilling all types of reckless ass tea okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning cardi b i'm her going live and saying that she misses offsets d and then basically his father coming out and blasting both of them but mainly going in on cardi and all her antics and then also how do you feel about 21 savage demanding that cardi b stay with offset even though he chose to cut amber rose off after one mistake so anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Cardi B, Offset, and all these damn people in their damn business, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.